Have you ever wondered what endows a movie with lasting appeal, turning it into a timeless symbol of the film industry? One such cinematic gem is the 1964 classic, The Train. Perhaps you've had the pleasure of watching it, or maybe you're about to embark on your first journey through its captivating narrative. Regardless, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Train is a film that has endured the test of time for several reasons. Its gripping storyline, led by Burt Lancaster's impeccable performance, unfolds against the backdrop of World War II. The movie's exploration of art, culture, and the human spirit in the face of adversity adds depth and resonance. But what truly sets it apart is its real-life inspiration, the resistance against the Nazi plunder of priceless artworks. This historical context not only lends authenticity to the narrative, but also underscores the film's enduring significance. As we delve into some intriguing facts about the train, keep in mind the enduring qualities that have made it a timeless classic. And don't forget to share your own experiences with this remarkable piece of cinema. We're eager to hear your thoughts and stories in the comments below. What enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? When was the first time you watched this movie? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share with us in the comments. The Train is a 1964 war film directed by John Frankenheimer and based on real events during World War II. The story revolves around Paul Labich, portrayed by Burt Lancaster, a determined and principled French railroad inspector. Labich finds himself reluctantly drawn into the French resistance when the Nazis, led by Colonel Franz von Waldheim, plan to loot and transport priceless art treasures from a French museum to Germany. Labich's mission becomes a thrilling race against time as he and his team sabotage the Nazi train, engaging in a high-stakes battle of wits and survival against the enemy. The film is notable for its intense action sequences, gripping suspense, and the moral dilemma faced by its characters. The train is renowned for its authentic depiction of the harrowing reality of war and the preservation of cultural heritage. It underscores the moral imperative of protecting art and history in times of conflict. The film's impact on popular culture can be seen in its influence on subsequent war movies, particularly those dealing with the preservation of art and culture during wartime. With its intense performances, stunning cinematography, and the underlying theme of heroism in the face of adversity, the train remains a classic in the war film genre, leaving an indelible mark on cinema history. In summary, The Train is a riveting war film that tells a compelling story of heroism and the preservation of cultural heritage during World War II, with memorable performances by Burt Lancaster and Paul Schofield. Its influence on subsequent films and its portrayal of the moral dilemmas of wartime actions continue to resonate in popular culture. This concise and insightful plot summary has been. The Train is a 1964 movie that, despite its night itinerary closely mirroring the real route from Paris to Germany, actually commences its journey in the fictional town of Rive Rieny, which is based on a Quigny, a Normandy town 57 miles west of Paris. Notably, the train station and hotel in Aquigny look much the same today as they did in 1964. Moreover, this film earned the top spot in Trains Magazine's special issue titled The 100 Greatest Train Movies. It is widely recognized for its gripping portrayal of a plot revolving around a train, World War II, and the German occupation of France. One interesting tidbit is that, in contrast to his character Labich, played by Burt Lancaster, the actor himself had a deep appreciation for art. Over the years, he amassed a significant collection of paintings, which diverges from his character's disposition in the movie. The Train from 1964 remains a memorable cinematic work, known for its thrilling narrative and the use of real locations, such as Aquigny, which still hold their historical charm. It also holds the prestigious title of being the best train movie according to Trains magazine. These facets contribute to the film's enduring legacy. The Train from 1964 is a movie known for its commitment to realism. Director John Frankenheimer emphasized the absence of tricks in the film, using real trains in the crash scenes for an authentic experience. This dedication to realism extended to a memorable sequence in the movie. Burt Lancaster's character evades an air attack by driving the locomotive at full speed into a tunnel. 
The scene was inspired by a real event during World War II when a passenger train on the Great Western Railway was pursued by a German fighter. The train, going well above wartime speed restrictions, managed to escape into a tunnel beneath the River Severn in Gloucestershire, despite being struck several times during the chase. Notably, Burt Lancaster's involvement in the film was part of a deal with United Artists. He was required to make this movie, along with three others, for a significantly reduced fee due to cost overruns at his production company, Hecht Hill Lancaster. These elements contribute to the film's legacy, making the train a notable piece of cinematic history where reality and history intersect in thrilling fashion. The 1964 movie The Train was a unique film made in both French and English in France. It was shot entirely on real outdoor locations, allowing unlimited access to old French train stock from World War II. This authentic backdrop added to the film's realism and intensity. Directed by John Frankenheimer and starring Burt Lancaster, the movie is a World War II thriller that revolves around the daring mission to stop a train carrying priceless art treasures looted by the Nazis. Burt Lancaster celebrated his 50th birthday during the filming of the train. This milestone in his life coincided with his role in this action-packed film. Despite the physical demands of the role, Lancaster delivered a memorable performance. During production, Burt Lancaster took a day off to play golf when the filming was about halfway done. However, during the game, he stepped in a hole and re-aggravated an old knee injury. To work around this setback, John Frankenheimer had Lancaster's character shot in the leg within the film's plot. This enabled Lancaster to continue shooting, incorporating his real-life injury into the character's struggles. The Train is a remarkable movie that seamlessly blends action, suspense, and historical context. With its authentic locations and dedicated cast, it remains a classic in the war film genre. The Train, a 1964 movie directed by John Frankenheimer, went through an interesting journey during its production. Initially, the film had a relatively modest budget, but under the direction of Frankenheimer, it underwent significant changes and improvements that ultimately led to its budget being doubled to an impressive $6.7 million. This substantial increase in funding allowed for greater creative freedom and the realization of the director's vision, transforming the project into something even more ambitious than originally planned. The decision to increase the budget was motivated by the film's emphasis on action sequences and, in particular, the spectacular train wrecks that are central to the movie's plot. These thrilling and visually captivating moments required substantial resources to execute effectively. United Artists, the studio backing the project, recognized the potential of the train and decided to invest further to ensure that the action sequences were nothing short of spectacular. The injection of additional funds and resources was indeed a significant development in the movie's production. It allowed the creative team to push the boundaries of what was possible in 1964 cinema, delivering a film that not only met but exceeded audience expectations. The train became a memorable cinematic experience, thanks in no small part to the financial support that made it all possible. In just seven weeks, under the stewardship of John Frankenheimer and with the backing of United Artists, the train was brought to life on the silver screen. The final product was a thrilling and visually stunning masterpiece that showcased the power of determined filmmaking and the impact of an increased budget. The train, with its memorable train wrecks and compelling storyline, stands as a testament to the creative possibilities that can be realized when resources are abundant and the vision is compelling. This budget increase was a turning point in the film's production, allowing it to reach new heights of cinematic excellence. The Train remains a classic in the world of cinema and is a testament to the dedication and passion of all those involved in its creation. As we bid adieu to the captivating journey through the cinematic masterpiece, The Train, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this film has had on your cinematic appreciation. This gripping tale of resistance, courage, and the relentless pursuit of preserving cultural heritage in the face of war serves as a mirror to our own resilience in the midst of life's trials. It prompts us to ponder the lengths we would go to protect the treasures that hold meaning in our lives, just as Leibich and his compatriots did to save the invaluable art pieces. The train transcends time and place, reminding us that even in the most challenging circumstances, the human spirit prevails. 
We find strength in the characters' determination and a connection to their struggles that lingers long after the credits roll. I invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts on the train. Whether it's the powerful performances, the gripping storyline, or the underlying themes, your perspective adds depth to the appreciation of this cinematic gem. Your voice is a part of the larger conversation about this extraordinary film, and your insights are precious. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this cinematic journey with us. Your interest and engagement mean the world. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories about the train as it continues to inspire and resonate with audiences around the world. Stay tuned for more captivating discussions, and until then, keep the magic of cinema alive. Your stories and insights are the heart of our collective love for film. Warm regards.